what is going on it is Donald Poe photography I am back with a fresh cut looking quite nice like an altar boy at church and today I am here to talk about a new pickup I had it for about a month now I actually took a different approach instead of me just taking the camera out for a week go click 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 nah what I did is I took this camera out for about a month I sat with it I let it marinate and I just got to know it the camera that I am talking about is the Canon 5D Mark 1, i.e. the Canon 5D Classic as is Don now because this camera came out in 2005. That is about almost 18 years ago. My brother was born in 2005 and you know, um, he's about to graduate. That's crazy. So this camera came out brand new, $3,000 USD. We're gonna do a little inflation. I believe that's about 5K right now, $5,000. That's a lot of money. But guess how much I got this camera for in 2023? Awkward silence, I got it for $75. That is less than my oil change. $75 for a full frame body. There has to be something up. Is the jig up? We don't know. We're about to find out though. So at first, before I show you the big prints and some sample images on the screen, I'm going to show you a baby print. A little baby print of my beautiful girlfriend with her Girl Scout cookies. Looks good. Nice print, right? This camera is 12 megapixels. Now, you might say, ooh, that's a little too low. Trust me, it's not. The picture I'm about to show you, I'm about to put it on the screen first, as you can see. It's a Christmas tree. And I took this literally, what, March 15th. It was a random snowstorm in Jersey, the Nor'easter. And honestly, it was black luster. Nothing stuck, you know what I'm saying? And honestly, I like how this picture came out. I actually put it in monochrome because I wanted to see like how this camera handles just going into Adobe monochrome opposed to like Adobe color. And it came out pretty nice especially while it was like snowing and it just it was nice it was a nice image the next image i want to show you is it's a little dark but yeah pretty nice it did come out on the darker side i underexposed the image i'm starting to learn with printing it's supposed to be a little overexposed a little bit but honestly i like the dark moody tones so I actually have a couple talking points I'm going to go over. Let me just open up my uh, iPhone right here. Okay, so we already talked about the price. That is $75, how much it went for. And it goes for about 200 USD right now, I'd say. If you could find it for under 200 USD, I'd buy it. Because $75, <laughs> I think I hit the record, honestly. Um... The second thing I want to talk about is the image quality. Now, I already brought up that it is 12 megapixels. I showed you some prints. I'm actually going to show you the Christmas tree again because I don't think I showed it at the camera. That's pretty nice. $5 print. Looks good. Um, I'm going to put some images on the screen right now. So, as you can see, you wouldn't be able to tell that this is a 2005 camera from 2005. The images have a nice warm look to them. And by the way, if you're thinking that I, I'm trying to bamboozle everybody and like I put like some $2,000 glass on here to show you how good the 5D Classic is, you're mistaken. I used a Quanta Ray for Canon AF. It's a it was for film cameras. It was Quanta Ray 2890 3.5 to 5.6. I used this lens. I got it for fifteen dollars at a thrift shop. It's basically Quanta Ray's knockoff Sigma glass. It's Sigma glass that didn't pass the the quality inspections, but this one it renders the colors a little warm. But this lens was fifteen dollars. I basically took a camera that I got for $75, put a $15 lens, and I got stellar results. And not just stellar results, I actually did a photo shoot 
when I brought my 5D Mark II, I brought my X-T2, they're wonderful cameras, but I had this 5D Classic in the car, and my friend Lucy, it was her birthday shoot, and I took a couple pictures of her beforehand, before, and to show her, like I went to the coffee place where she worked at, we took, you know, we're just talking and stuff, chopping it up, and she was like, wow, that camera looks nice, and the images look nice too. So I would, this is when I was just carrying it around, you know, I, was car I carried it for a month before I made this video, and I took it inside, I put the flat, my old, my little flash on, and these images are amazing, they are nice, they are crisp, they have a nice, warm, cool look to them, I, I was amazed, I was taken aback actually, I spent under a hundred dollars, got a full frame camera, and I got this nice lens. I had this lens for about two years now. I used to use it on my film camera. I'm gonna make a video about this lens soon though. But it is crazy to me that I got results like this for such a low entry point. It just threw me off because like all this marketing, I, I love YouTube videos. I love YouTubers, I love them. But some YouTubers like to push this, oh, new gear, new kit, new gear, new gear. In reality, you don't need it. If you're just a hobbyist, you're doing street photography, you don't, you don't really need 60 megapixels. It's cool to have it, but you don't need it. And this camera solidified that for me. It solidified that you can, I could just grab any camera and make beautiful work regardless of the age. And that that's amazing because it just gets down to the bare minimum of just creating like I get happy when I pick up this camera I'm like yo I'm gonna create something I'm not worried about no spec sheets I'm not worried about no oh is it gonna be too dark is the is it gonna be too noisy is it I don't know is it too loud no I just go and create and that's a good thing you want a camera that just makes you want to create and just with this camera and this lens alone it made me just want to get up and create I'm gonna actually talk about the third point the third point is the digital grain so a lot of youtubers coined that the noise on this it looks really good and they are not lying so it's because it's a low megapixel don't quote me I'm not a scientist I am I don't I'm not an engineer I'm none of that I believe with lower megapixel cameras since the pixels are bigger they capture light differently, well not differently per se, but the grain it will produce, it will produce a, like a nicer film like grain, you know what I'm saying? And it's not like that, like that too much staticky noise, it's a nice fine, it's like a film grain, like I just previously stated. And honestly, I love it, I really do love it. This camera only goes up to 1600 ISO, I think you could push it to... 3200 I have never pushed it to 3200 but the 1600 grain is just so nice like I'm about to oh I love that I love that so much and the sound of it it's so nice this camera it's so nice it's so nice oh I'm, I'm actually gonna show this picture on the screen that that's nice I prefer to use the camera in JPEG because the JPEG render, the, it's just a good image. Like some cameras you gotta like, especially a little on the older side, cameras on the older side, you gotta like use raw. But for this camera, you don't really have to use raw. And I thoroughly enjoy just taking the pic straight out of the camera, like the one I show you. This one is literally straight out of camera. I just put it in black and white because I shot it raw. I didn't use the JPEG, unfortunately, and just, converted it to black and white and it came out good and that's pretty amazing especially for a DSLR especially an older DSLR that I could just take the images and say I like how this looks you don't really have cameras like that no more and this camera is something special youtubers weren't lying about that this camera really is something special like for real so I'm gonna actually summarize this video you know I'm using notes now you know Number four, the final part, would I recommend this camera? I will definitely recommend this camera. If you can pick up this body, now the body, they're old, so they're gonna have some some worn, some, some shutter actuations on it, 
And you know, I believe the early models, the serial, let me check my serial number. What is this? Oh, I'm good. Oh, it's like a newer one. Sweet. So if it starts with like a zero, like the the mirror falls off, but you can just glue it back. It's like a D easy DIY, a like 20 minute job. And you got a good camera. So these 5D bodies are just made to last. Like the 5D Mark II goes for what? So like 250K shutter accuations. It's rated at 150, but multiple people got 250K shutter accuations. That's more than I'm probably gonna use in my lifetime with one camera. I'm gonna be honest. Max 100V, I might push that maybe 150 by the time I'm an old whippersnapper. You know what I'm saying? But if you can get this camera, buy it, secure it. This is a classic. As I just said, it is called the 5D Classic. It is actually a classic. It is a certified banger, as the kids would say. Please buy this camera. It is great. Trust me. So, I'm just going to summarize everything real quick. price I got it for 75 you can find it for about 200 USD even cheaper I wouldn't recommend paying 500 500 you're reaching 5d mark 2 5d mark 3 they're actually 5d mark 3 area because 5d mark 2 go for like 300 buy the 5d classic it renders a look unlike other cameras it's like it's not CCD but it's like different from CCD and not in a bad way it has a different look and it's really good. I definitely recommend it. The image quality, as I just said, the look is beautiful. 12 megapixels is more than enough. I'm going to print something 2030 soon to show like, hey, you, can, you only really need 6 megapixels to be cool, you know what I'm saying? To really print big. Image quality is there, especially for social media. Full frame, you know, cinematic look digital grain great push this camera up to 1600 I haven't shot it at night yet I gotta shoot the D200 first at night and then this camera at night but honestly I haven't really had any issues especially when I put the nifty 50 on it it looks great images look great they're sharp they're really good the grain you could just push it up to 1600 you're gonna enjoy it you're not gonna really regret it you're not even gonna want to reduce the noise honestly you're gonna want to keep it it just adds a nice character to the image and number four would I recommend it yes I would recommend it <laughs> obviously thank you for watching I took a little break I just wanted to come at this channel a different way. I just wanted to finish up the winter, just do my own thing. But now that it is springtime, my hair is short, my beard's short, I'm back in action. I'm gonna drop some videos soon. I got some stuff cooking up in the lab. We're gonna have a fun time, a fun summer, fun spring, fun fall. Thank you for watching. All 161 of you guys, yo, that's crazy. I wouldn't think I would have a channel that big, even if I was like 10. Thank you for watching them, for real. Thank you for listening to my rants, my TED Talks. I go all over the place. I'm a little sporadic, but thank you for listening and trying to pay attention. I appreciate you. Um, let me know if you have a 5D. Let me know any camera that you recommend. If you recommend a certain camera, put it in the comments so people can see. People, we need to listen to other people's stories. Other people have different experiences with cameras, and we should really take them seriously, you know? If someone has a D3000 and they have such a compelling story, how they took it out in the rain, how they did beautiful images, documented their life, listen to it. It might check it out, you know? I believe the D3000 has a CCD sensor too. I'll check that out. <laughs> but I don't know about the D3000. I don't really have one. I have a D3400. I love that camera. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Before I forget, I want to actually give a shout out to Steven Heiss and Martin Kastein. So, before I bought a 5D Classic, before I even knew about the 5D Classic, I saw their videos and it made me, it put the thought in the back of my head. I'm like, hmm, maybe, maybe I'll buy one. And then, perfect time came up, it was $75. I bid and I won, and I was like, oh, perfect. And I want to give a 
a great shout out like great photographers great informative videos like i'm gonna actually link the videos in the bio please check them out like they make amazing content subscribe to them actually like and subscribe like all their videos are amazing bro like i binge watched all their videos like yo they're amazing trust me thank you guys again